Good morning, everyone. Well, this morning, we're going to review projects within mTesker. I'm going to show you how to create a project and how to create a template associated with that project. So let's get started straight away. Um, I'm going to go here on my, I'm on the landing page. I'm going to select my projects and I'm just going to go to my project list. Now these are all of the projects that I have loaded in my demo system. Um, so we have the list of the accounts, you have the short description of the project, who created it, etc. status. Fairly straightforward. So now I'm just going to open one real quick. We'll just have a look at this one. Now on the top section, this section is all about, you know, the, the you know, what the, the job is about. The name, the opportunity it might be associated with, the provider, the agency, if you're working with an agency on this as well, your service inventory. Now, projects <clears throat> can be associated with a service inventory. That's pretty handy because as you're working the project, you can be updating the, 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 uh, the service inventory as you go, which is quite nice. So if you do not associate a service inventory with the project, this section here will not show. So continuing on, you can you can set start date or end date and then calculate the you know your dates associated with that based on that or you can leave it alone. Uh, you can enable it for workflow or not. You can include weekdays and holidays when you're calculating the dates. And we have this a feature called behind uh, enable behind calculation. So if any one of these fields, any one of these items goes to behind, it's not complete, and it's done, the system will automatically calculate that and throw a behind status on there. All right. <clears throat> so on the top part is all about the, uh, you know, the, the basic information about it. As you enter information associated with with agencies and providers and and whatnot, you'll get you know the primary contact and you get additional information of people you might want on here. If you want to add additional people, you can simply by just doing you can say who's my contact, who's the phone number, and whatnot. All right, so let's cancel for this and we're going to go talk about the templates and how M Tusker thinks of these things. So here we go. We're going to go with templates. I'm going to click this button here. So right now I only have one set up here <coughs> and I'll show you others. So in a template, you will add actions and you know, you say, all right, what's my action sequence number? What's if there, is there a predecessor associated with it? <coughs> Do I want to wait a few days before I start that and an estimated amount of work duration? You, know, you can type in instructions if you want and then do another one. So now this becomes a template to be used for some typical type of a job you might do. Um, now I'm going to toggle over here and show you a variety of templates that we use here at mTusker. If you are a <clears throat> primarily a service inventory customer, then we'll say, okay, Here's our in onboarding stuff to help you get your um, service inventory put in. So we'll say, okay, we're in a trial and welcome package sent. Um, spend some time analyzing, discussing, loading back and forth until it's time that we have the final load. So this is what we would use. It's a little more extensive. I'm going to go back up. Um, uh, when we have some that are quite, quite, quite short um, um, I have one here that I like to use it's pretty straightforward I just say okay high level training receive the client data this might be files from whatever analyze that data build the CRRs and begin uploading commissions so this is a short one in uh, sales organizations if you have a new opportunity you might have welcome letter follow-up conversations whatever so you can repeat these things over and over and over again um all right so i'm going to toggle back over to uh this other one here say okay this is 
um, you know, database implementation. So if you are a, uh, uh, a master agency or an agency and you're, con you know, you're, you're bringing on a new client for the first time, you might want a welcome letter sent, submit, submitted to carriers, technical question submitted, um, you know, FOC date received, Ethernet letter sent, etc. So you would go down and at the end, you might say, okay, set up my commissions. So this is what you would do. Uh, if I wanted to add an action, <coughs> I would give it a sequence number. I would say, what is the description of that? What's the es estimated effort? What's the duration? You might have something that will only take three hours of work, but it's 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there, over a spread of a period of three or four days. A predecessor, you can't start a particular line item until you get to the next one. And then you just have, um, <clears throat> um, you know, delays. So you might submit, you may submit a, uh, a letter. Then you might have to wait five days before you'd even start, think about starting the next action. And this might be instructions associated with that. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. Go back to my projects list. All right. <clears throat> so now I want to, I'll just add one real quick. And I'll say, all right, add new. So let's take, put an account in here. I think I've got one. Yeah, Master Grove Links. An opportunity. There's no opportunities. Um, I do have providers, let's say it's Integra, uh, a partnership, let's say it's uh, XYZ Agency. So notice as I'm adding these things, various different people are popping up on the side here. Do I already have a uh, service inventory set up? Yes, I do. So I'm going to select service inventory here. Now it's going to bring it in. There it is. So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and close this part of the window down. Um, you might have a free form contract if you know say they, you may not have service inventory but you might want to type a contract name in there i'm going to say jordy laforge is responsible for this give it a short description of uh, set up uh, network and uh, phones all right <clears throat> remember you want to pull the appropriate template for whatever it is you're working on now I've got just one here so I'm going to bring it in um, yes I want workflow enabled uh, no I don't want weekends and holidays and I'll leave this off I want to be able to control my own stuff uh, a project type well this one's a data project type all right uh, primary contact is Amy Fowler this comes from Master Grove the project manager, oh, I said it was, I was going to use job manager. Let's go ahead and stay with Jordy LaForge. Um, salesperson, I'll just leave it as myself here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and save this. And what it will do, now it will pull that template in <clears throat> and set the project up. There's a couple things I want to remind you. The first thing we do is we save, that's the reason you saw that do two saves is it saved the project information and it also saved the service inventory information. So now I've pulled all of the project line items or milestone items in, in place here. Now one thing of note, it's not necessarily dynamic. It will grab that template and pull that template and put it here. Um, if I go back to my template and add more line items, they won't automatically show up here because once I start messing with the template, I might be changing my sequence numbers, instructions, and I want to leave this stuff static. Um, so it's, it's, it also helps with workflow. So in your workflow, if you're triggering off uh, the, the something called submitted to carrier, you know, then you're going to do that. But then be careful using workflow and triggering off of the action uh, item number because you can change them and then workflow may not work right for you again. So let's go ahead and say, I want to do a start date of the 11th and say, all right, so I'll go ahead and, and, and calculate, auto calculate my dates. I'm going to hit enter here. 
So now the system is going to say, okay, it's going to create your start dates and end dates for all these items based upon your start date. So it looks like this one will start on this day and the end date is going to be clear out here in end of November. So that's a kind of a long one. So there you go. Now, if you want to change things, we're really key on working with blogs here. So I want to change something. I'm going to say completed completed this task. Uh, Non-billable effort. If this is billable time, that's great. Uh, what is this task? Um, contract sign date. This is, this is just a kicking things off, so it's going to be I'll say zero, zero, 10 minutes, uh, billable time. I'm going to say no billable time. This information, this billable time and all this stuff will roll up into time tracking. So be aware that as you're doing this, and if you have time tracking, take good, be, be responsible with this, be diligent about it, and you can work it. All right, completed. Now, if you want to override this date, you can do that right here. I'm going to hit save. All right. Yeah, I missed. I, I pushed the wrong button. I apologize. So now the overall job status is in progress, and I have this one in progress. I might want to go ahead and have it labeled as completed. Time hit the right button, and I'll say done. This time I'll actually select the word completed. All right, and hit save. All right, okay, so done there. So now I'm going to go back over to the project list. I can see that I have a new one down here for Master Grove Links. It's in progress. And you can, as a, it, managers and leaders, can, of course, look down quickly and see the statuses of all the projects that are going on, actions that are completed. Uh, workflow can be written against these things. So if something falls behind, a manager can be alerted to it. Um, if one person completes a particular task, a trigger, uh, a notification, or an email or a task to the next person to get a job done, a workflow can kick off an email to carriers or clients that uh, they need to do a particular task. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is a quick review of how projects work. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. Thank you. Bye.